the degrees um, Fahrenheit on the skin of this kiln. So I'm simple. It's it's it really doesn't have to be that complicated. And then the second time it burns from char to ash. The second phase can only happen with oxygen. Charcoal will only turn to ash with oxygen. So if you control the air, you control the fire. You see how it's clean? I mean, if you look up above the fire, other than that kind of, you know, oil and water look, there's not really any smoke. Josiah covered the pile with dirt to quench the burn and let the biochar cook in an oxygen-free environment. He said it would be ready in a couple days. Well, what's happening is, is the way it's layered in there, the layer on the bottom is not getting very much oxygen as you keep layering it up. You can see how the smoke stops after a few minutes, pretty much. That's because it's robbing that oxygen from below. Okay, so the bottom is going to open. Yeah, and as you keep layering it up there, I mean, that's really going nicely right now, even with the wind. Well, you kind of see how this shape works because yeah, the angles, it's, it's, the shape the angles is to the design. Right, it creates a vortex. We're not seeing that, but it's vortexing counterclockwise. It's actually going uh, this way, mm. not this way. Because the heat is using up the oxygen, so down below, it, the oxygen can't gather because the heat is taking it and using it right away to, to burn the material. On the top layer? Yeah. So every time we add another layer, it robs oxygen from the lower layer. That's why the lower layers won't go to ash. Now you're getting a little bit of an ash here, so we could, we could probably layer another... Uh, yes, we're ready. We could probably... Some wild.